you met through like a dating app, right? Yeah. How was that process? Oh, you mean dating in general? Yeah, dating. Like modern world, man. You're you're a forty year old man. We talk about this a lot, actually, her and I, because um, both of us had a really shitty time before we met each other. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm assuming so, a lot of people do go through like just the dregs of humanity. So here's the thing. Here's the the plus side of dating is this. You get to meet people you would never, ever meet naturally, which is really cool. That's the coolest thing. Like intimately too. Like you get to yeah. hear this person's story, their their family life. Yeah. Right? Like intimate detail. The downside is, is that the... <laughs> the intimate details are apeshit yeah. crazy. So the filtering isn't adequate enough. So the amount of information that the dating map gives you is not enough to truly be a good matchmaking system. Okay. Um, and I don't know how you would get more information because then you would get into really like, really like personal shit, you know? Yeah. I'm assuming like when, like say like an organic relationship, you're doing a lot of vetting, right? You're getting the person's personality. You know this person's past to some extent, right? You, you kind of like, you know, cursory details about this person's life and like the family dynamics somewhat, right? Yeah. Which is never disclosed in a dating app because no. it would just be, it would encroach into their, you know, too much in their personal details yeah. that everyone could have access to. But then you, all you have is like their, their visuals, what the fucking astrology, whatever. Oh, don't even get me fucking started on astrology, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> I, I did not, so I did not fill any of that information out. Oh, like, you didn't? On purpose, I didn't put any astro- astrology stuff. I kept that blank. No, but do you have to put in your age and your whatever, well, You have right? to put your age in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you yeah, don't yeah. have to do anything, right? Okay, so everything is uh, optional. Okay. But people usually fill out everything, and I will not fill out astrology. That is something I will never fill out because yeah. I do not, do not want a conversation based upon that at all ever started. Right? Yeah, that, that is a hard um, filter for me. It's worse than religion. Yeah, I have I have the yeah. same religion. I, I, I would rather have you be fucking seventh day. That's Actually, a tough no. one, but That's yeah, okay, one. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hyper Catholic like yeah. than uh, really into astrology. I agree. Because I agree. because religion, you take the leap of faith on your metaphysics, right? Yeah. And astrology is like a leap of faith in some bullshit thing that you can test by yourself. By the way, y- y- yeah, you can you li- can run your own p value tests yeah. on all this shit, but you won't, right? Because you're just too fucking dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Because you think Aquariuses have this phenotype of like a certain personality, yeah, right. And you know, oh god, my girlfriend's gonna hate me about hate me for this. Is but, she into astrology? No, 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 no. She does no, but okay. she's she's Chinese, right? And so the Chinese, the Eastern calendar, is everyone in the whole year that's born in that whole year is the yeah, same, that's right? E- that's even dumber. <laughs> so so it's like that's even dumber, dude. <laughs> and uh, um, no, she she plays around with it. She does she doesn't take it seriously. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's, it's a part game, of a culture. Right? Yeah. You know, I'm not going to make fun of it, but I'm just saying, like, to dictate that everyone in the whole year has like all of these things in common, right? Is just mind blowing. Yeah, it's just, it's dumb. Yeah, because you can actually do a scientific test to to disprove it immediately. Disprove it immediately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you can personally do this. It's a, but you can't test whether God exists, and that's why religion. No, correct. Yeah, that's why religion is better because yes. you, you're you're you're. You accept the, the absurdity of reality, yeah. and then if you adopt to a certain metaphysical structure that helps you with life, that's fine with me. Yeah, astrology is not going to help you with life. No, it's just no. a dumb fucking thing. Yeah, it's like our friends, like to. you know, their family, the Indian, our Indian friends, their families dictate who they're going to marry based on it. Fucking, if Jupiter is flying over the the sky yeah. at a certain time or something, what the fuck, dude? Where did this start? Like, yeah. how do who you the gotta, fuck started? You got to be you got to be married at age twenty five because like whatever, whatever. Because oh like, my the god, stars align. So away. fucking dumb, dude. It's dumb. But and yeah, like, anyway. So yeah. Um, dating apps. So 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 like yeah. Uh, it's fuck anyone out there, man. I I don't know what to say. Like my girlfriend always laughs because I'm like, just keep like I, if we just kept at it, you know, we just keep, just keep at it, right? And she laughs. She's like, it's not that easy. Like, people have kept at it for years and they haven't found anyone. So here's the thing. It's I don't know. For people who aren't actually getting results, in L.A., there's 10 million people, right? And let's say a million of those people are in your age group. And of those million, only 10% are dating. Like, that's still a huge amount of people, right? So I think what's happening is I think people are on dating apps, but they really don't want it. They really don't want it. They're just, they're doing it. They're going through the motions. So they feel like they want to be normal. They want to. And I think a lot of people self-sabotage a lot that are dating. So you, 
you don't think a lot of people are are making a very honest decision to be on these apps. I don't think I don't think they're honest with themselves. I don't think they truly accept themselves. And if you can't accept yourself for who you are, how are you going to accept another person? If you don't love yourself, how are you going to love another person? Right? It's really hard. And all I'm saying is, is like. My girlfriend and I, we were ready and we knew what we wanted and we went out and we got it, right? It took us, it took us six, it took me six months, took her like seven or eight months, right? But yeah, you were, I mean, like I, hearing your stories, you were at bat like multiple yeah. times and it's just like fucking, I'm like, you're getting burnt out. I was, and I told, told my girlfriend, like I told my, my, uh, I said, you were my last date for, until I was going to take a break. Mm-hmm. And that's the truth. And we joke about it because I was burned out by the time I, you know, and and I I was super wishy washy about where we were gonna go. Right. And she's like, "Why don't well, okay, why don't we go here?" And I said, "Okay, that's great." I didn't, couldn't even make a decision on that. I right. got there, it didn't pay for her food. <laughs> like all this shit happened, yeah, like yeah. bad. Right. But she liked me, so yeah. we went out on the second date. And then I, you know, I clean up my act. And then she like, right. she's like, "All right, this guy's good." And that's how. But but it's on the like, first date, I was so like, "Fuck this, dude." <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I was <laughs> I was so done with it, man. No, man, is it's it's strange because like you would you would hope that everyone's playing the same game, right? yeah? Because you're in it with honest. The thing is, like, you have to be fucking MJ. You got to be fucking game seven, you know, Eastern Conference Finals. Like, I got to be fucking on it. Every single time, like first especially dates, if you're a man, dude. Yeah, it's the first dates. You got to show up, right? Yeah, I got to be attentive. I got to be funny. I got to be listening. I got to remember the previous jokes. I got to the inside jokes. I got to do all these things. And like here, you are fucking burnt the fuck out, like putting a facade yeah. up, minimal effort, and yeah. And and somehow I I still got her. Yeah, because because it was I wasn't in my A game that day, the first day. But I think you were more honest, right? With like I was honest. Um, and she liked what I had to say, and she liked the person I was, and who I, what, what the topics we had. We had a lot in common. Um, because yeah, there was like so many bad situations where I'd meet someone, go on a few dates, realize we weren't compatible, or they would just drop something on me that was like, "What the fuck? Why didn't this come out three dates ago? I wouldn't have to pay for another, you know, all this other shit. Yeah. You know, this crazy thing that was a deal breaker came up like on date four. Right. You're and like, you're having like concurrent, like, um, you know, dates, right? And yeah. So like. You're doing like a paralyzed process and you're, that's like burnout for me. Like I yeah. can't do that in my mind. I can't, you know, I've been with my wife for like, fuck, like 15 years. Yeah. I don't know. This is before the dating app world. Yeah. So I didn't have to worry about this shit, but like to date multiple people to feel out, you know, cause you have to, right. You got to see who you're going to partner with yeah. for your life. And like, you have to try multiple people out and it's like, that's too much for me. I have to be like a serial dater. And then that would burn me out even more because like I'll be fucking 45 by the end of yeah. that. I mean, do you forget people's names? You you, you mix up stories. Like the, the, the best part is Holy when you, shit, you yeah. go out with a girl and you say, huh, that story you told me like, you know, yesterday was really funny. And she's like, what the fuck are you talking about? It was a different girl, dude. Oh, that fuck. happened to me like twice. And I had to play it off. But like everyone knows you're dating, right? So it's okay. Everyone knows you're going on dates. Yes. So no one, no one expects you to remember. Everything. I also don't like that either. What do you like? I don't like that, that I'm with someone that is in an intimate first date with other people. Oh yeah, it bothers if you, but it only bothers you if you like the girl, right? But if you're you, if, going out because you like the girl anyway. What I mean is, if if it bothers you after the first date, that's when you know you really like her, because oh, okay. you're worried about who she's going out with. Oh, I see. Now that's how you know. I see. Yeah. But yes, it does suck. Yeah. I'm not saying it doesn't suck, but that's how, that's one of the telltale signs. You're like, oh, I'm digging this girl because I care about, is she going out with anybody tonight? Right. But you, you, know? you, you had to experience the burnout to have that. You had the little calluses in your heart, the little carapace you yeah. had, and then like you put in a defense a little bit, right? Yeah. Because if you yeah. open your heart too much, too quickly, too yeah. early, fucking that feels like shit. Yeah, man. It was, uh, I'm glad I, I'm glad I experienced it. Obviously, I would have met my girlfriend, but. Um, I'm glad I also experienced it for selfish reasons that I actually went through it and, and, and experienced it. And yeah, she's great. I mean, it's perfect. I feel like, like yeah, man, your, she, your, your chaos mind. Yep. She's, yeah. she, she's also very, um, supportive and, and, um, and takes care of, you know, things that I, uh, good conversations takes care of me. You know, it's like one of those things where I think she's going to be a really good partner. And, uh, I wouldn't have, I would not have met her. There's no way I would have ran into this girl. I think supportive is the best, right? Like, I feel like yeah. if you go on a, a, a lot of people aren't supportive. Yes. Right. Yes. You're on these apps and they don't feel like they're going to support your fucking life. Yeah. When, because like, they, you're going to support theirs. Like, because this they're should a be fucking this, mess. 
you know, many, there's so many girls that were just fucking messes, dude. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I'm just like, you, you, yeah. you know, you think like women have it together. That's like the general idea is that men are messes and women aren't messes. Yeah. That's complete fucking bullshit, right? It, it's so in general, you know, if you're on equal footing, they're less of a mess. Like my girlfriend's less of a mess than I am mm-hmm. because like we're on equal footing. So yeah, of course women are, are more put together than men. Right. But you see like the distribution's fucking, you know. So I'm on one end of the distrib- I'm a very ordered man, right? Yeah. I was meeting some really unordered women. <laughs> so, so so it's so it's like, you know. And you don't know until like day 2 or day 3 and like holy shit, the family dynamic is crazy or like Yeah. Like things that you can they have ability they have the ability to control, they don't even opt to take yeah. control of their own life. Right. Right. I'll tell a story about the one girl with the with the mom thing, right? I think that yeah, was a good. Yeah. So I met this girl and we went on a few dates and we went on to, we went to barbecue one night or something like that. And she's like, uh, how often do you talk to your mom? Yeah. So, okay. Backstory. I'm Italian American. It's very common to talk to your parents every day. And she's like East Asian, right? She's East Asian. Yeah. Um, so I said, yeah, I talk to my mom every day. She calls me every day almost, you know, now she goes and tells her friends this, who are also East Asian. And they were like, do not date this guy. Right. Um, and she comes back on the next date and tells me this. And I'm like, but you went on a date to not on, not text on a date on, a, to, on like a fourth date or something. And she says, my friends say I shouldn't date you. Holy shit. My friends said I shouldn't date you. Right. Damn. Right there. It's like, right. You, how can you not You're not even your control of your own fucking yeah. life. Yeah. Um, because you know, in East, in East Asian culture and my culture, uh, she's Japanese, you know, uh, divorces mostly happen because the mother of the male gets involved and, you know, boundary issues and stuff like that. I said, yeah. you're conflating talking to a parent every day and someone being a domineering mother. I said, you know, you, I can talk to my mom every day and she lets me do my own shit. And I live, I, I, I was like, given the fact I'm 3,000 miles away from her now, what do you think? She's like dictating what I'm doing every day from Philadelphia? Right. You know what I mean? It's She's not doing your laundry. Yeah. She's not fucking getting you a meal. Yeah. I was like, yeah. my mom and I are close. That's it. That's right. like, we went through a lot together. You know, I, right. she was raised me by herself. You know, there's, you know, we have, a, we have a connection and she wouldn't fucking go past that. Now the hypocrisy is, is that she doesn't talk to her brother at all. Never right. again. She doesn't talk to her. I don't know what happened. I didn't ask because guess what? It's not my fucking business. Not your fucking business. So I, and I threw that on her. I said, I could be, I could say to you, why don't you talk to your brother? That's a red flag to me. But right. I didn't do that because it's none of my business. Mm-hmm. And if one day you wanted to talk about it later on as we got to know each other, that's fine. But I didn't probe about it. Right. And she did not like that, dude. So because I, I got her in her shit, right? I was like, you're being a hypocrite. Right. Like family dynamics are shouldn't shouldn't come into the matrix on whether this person is a good match for you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And if it does, then it's a discussion. Um, yeah. It. it it depends on the family dynamics, of course. Right. Now, right. there are men who talk to the parents every day and their mama's boys. I'm not saying she's wrong. That does right. happen. Yeah. It, you yeah. have to, like, there are true mama's boys, too. Yeah. So that's, like, yeah. the, her, like, what she's feeling. Yeah, yeah. And I'm saying, so I'm saying she's right. There are, there are, there are mama's boys. Yeah. But why don't you wait and find out? I'm fucking four years old. Yeah, I, I'm 40 years old. 30,000 miles away. Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. Get, get over yourself. Yeah. So it, it's like there is a cer- certain self-limiting factor on like decision making on mates. I feel like that is completely unwarranted. But I'm assuming a lot of my like, people go through so many dates, and it's like fucking cataloging people, right? It's like yeah, like you were saying, people feel like NPCs at one point. They do, like, especially when you're telling the same story every first date. Dude, that is insane. Yeah, that's like interviewing each time, and yeah. then, like you're just yeah, jaded. it is. It's like interviewing for multiple jobs. Like yeah. And you're saying the same shit. I graduated from so and so, and you're so and so. I'm into this. I like this. Oh, oh. You know, it seems fake at one point. Like yeah. you're 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 talking about a person that doesn't really exist. It's just this thing that you 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 catered as a script. Yeah, and I think that's what burns you out. It's that. It's that plus the yeah. It's it's putting yourself out there over and over again and not getting any results. And the um, because it's, the beginning steps are always the same. And that's what burns you out, right? Always the same. Yeah. yeah. And it's just a slow burn just to get to a point where you can go on the first date, second date. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, shit. She's fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody has their shit. Everyone has idiosyncrasies. You just got to find the person that their idiosyncrasies match yours. Yeah. Everyone's insane, by the way. Yeah. Everyone is. Everyone's yeah. got their own shit. Yeah. And it, yeah. I'm not saying like people on dating apps, it, like, you know, I know a lot of friends who had 
met their partners of life through yeah. dating apps still together for years. So there's nothing wrong with them. It's just an issue of like, man, it's, it's a fucking mess, a burnout mess. It is. Men listening to this, make sure you got your financial situ- situation together before you start. Have some money saved. You're going to spend, you're going to be spending money because you're rolling it. You're going to the casino and you're rolling on the crap dice. You're rolling the, you know, going on a craps table and you got every, every one of those rolls is, is money, right? Yeah. And you might land a good, was it double six? I forget what it is in craps. Double. I don't know. I don't anyway, know. you know, um, you may not get a winning hand, but you're every, every throw that dice, you're spending money. So you got to like get ready for that. And it's not cheap in LA. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Um, but I think with, um, the culture is changing where, you know, women do pay like half generally, I feel like generally. <laughs> generally. I mean, I think it's starting to change. Yeah. It's starting to change. Yeah. Uh, uh, are you, are you like, uh, like the man type? Well, I, cause you weren't dating like women that aren't working. So right? here's the thing. Like, so I you're, think, you're I think it's professionals. very, yes. Yeah. Yes. That's true. I was dating professional women. Even then they, they expect it. I and see. I, and I will say this, if you find the right person, it's okay to kind of front that. And then if you guys like each other and you start dating, you st- you start being egalitarian. Women like they like to see that initially. They like to they like to see a man pay for them. Right. right? At least initially. It's, it's a romantic thing. It's it's it makes them feel worth it, right? And I'm not like I'm not going to comment like whatever. People are going to say you know, I'm a strong independent woman, I don't need a man. Fine, whatever. I'm saying a lot of women do like it. Yeah. And um and after a while, it becomes egalitarian. Like you guys take care of each other; it's it's fine. But right. That initial. But here's the but the problem is is that the man's paying for all these initials. Yeah. All the first impressions yeah. are are on the man. Yeah. Right. And that's the part that's risky. Yes. Because you, the gesture is attractive. Yes, it is. I will, I'll pay for your food. Yeah. And I would do it because I I've, I'm in that old school mindset that the guy yeah. should pay. So I would as well. But it's like, yeah, if you think about a date, how much a date costs, yeah. In LA, we're talking hundred bucks easy with a co- with a cocktail, yeah. a couple of cocktails. Yeah, oh yeah, hundred bucks yeah. easy in LA for a first easy. date if you're yeah. going to dinner. And just now, if pop. you're just doing drinks, then but and you have multiple dates a week. I did. Yeah, rarely would a, would a week go by that I didn't have more than one. So it's a few hundred, but I mean like a thousand dollars. I just went meals. through a lot of money, dude. Yeah. yeah, I probably I probably spent four to five thousand dollars. Jesus Christ! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On just on just food, on women that you would never see again. Yep, that that mocks your being a mama boy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's, exactly. That's bullshit, man. Yep. Have that, my own apartment, my own car. I have right. my own job. I, I you and know. And it calls you out for being a calls mama's me boy. out for being a mama's boy because I talk to my mom every oh, day. Fuck you, lady. Oh, I I was close, bro. Yeah, I was close, but I was like, you know, what? I'm not gonna, you know. Yeah, no, I, I. It's just amazing people can judge people just based on nothing, right? It isn't nothing. She fucking consulted. She was told and she agreed. Yeah. When she should have made her own fucking mind. This, about woman, her partner. this woman is a medical doctor. Yeah. Just she's, to give you an idea. Yeah. And she's using her friend's advice. Like, so you're fucking, you're a fucking Assess terminal degree if, holder. Yeah. Like, Assess me if, if I'm going to be a good partner. I'll take care of the kids and whatnot. Yeah. 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 Do that. Yeah. Before fucking like introducing my mom into this. Yeah. And whether I call her from a phone that she won't be physically present. Unless she fucking get on an airplane. Exactly. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah and, it's insane. You know. And my mom. Let's see. Like, but you know, not knowing about me and my history and how much my mom and I have been through together. Like, it's one of those moments where you're like, don't bring up my fucking mom. Like, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Like, it, it's it's one of those things. Well, it's where, important to talk about it too, but not in such a disparaging way. Of in a disparaging way. Yes. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Damn, dating man. So I'm yeah, gl- but- I'm, gl- I'm glad I don't have to ever like that's yeah, I'm dude. Lucky. You're lucky. I don't have to fucking worry about. it. I have a friend back home friend. who yeah. who always used to, who loves the healing hearing me regale about dating and like you know women I've been with. Yeah, and he's he's a serial monogamist, and I'm like, bro, count yourself fucking lucky. Like, don't take it for granted. You know. Yeah. And don't. Yeah. If you're out of the game, just be fucking glad and latch on to that relationship as hard as you can. Yeah. Yeah, because it is fucking brutal out there. So, do you think women are? I guess this is like coming for us, but women are crazier. <laughs> you gotta get me in trouble, Nick. <laughs> do I think women are crazier? Like, in what way? Because I so, think women are crazier than men in certain ways. Yeah. So th- there was a statistic on um, how, how, like, the men and uh, women uh, being more out outdoors and whatnot. Right? They did a statistic per year. Okay. Since two thousand seven, I would say 
And this is where the advent of cell phones. Men have been more, you know, staying at home. Oh, yeah. And then women all like, you know, remaining the same to, to going up. To going outside. Yeah. And I would argue it's because of social media and gaming. It's because of gaming, 100%. Yeah, I was going to say yeah. it's because of gaming. Right. Yeah. Like you were playing what fucking a game for like six six hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Planet Crafter. Yeah, it's yeah, freaking. Yeah. It's it. My our boss got me into it. Yeah, yeah, like there's so much gaming content out there that yeah, for a guy, for a young man, and like if they don't have much money and they know how expensive things are, they're just gonna. I'll just wait until my career takes off and then I'll, I'll worry about it. Yeah, I'll just be with my boys playing these games, right? Like yeah, you're gonna you you do Arrested Development until you're of it's a great show age. by the way. Yeah, yeah, it's a great show. <laughs> Until you're a, a certain developed, what you think is an accomplished level where you find a certain attraction that women think would want. But you should be out there. You should be out there. Because you need you need experience. You need practice. You need experience. Dude, I was um, a fucking mess. Yeah. <laughs> Early 20s, I was a fucking mess. So was I, but yeah. I'm, I'm so happy that I met my wife back in the day. You're lucky. Because like I developed as a person through her. Yeah. I wow. developed as a fucking person. Like I... Yeah, the, you need experience with people to have a proper feedback loop on what it is to be a proper human, a proper provider, a proper husband, and whatnot. And that takes fucking time. Yeah, and e- exp. Yes, you need you need to level up outside if you're going to level up inside. Like if you're going to level up your character, you need to level up outside too. You have, it has Abs- to go step by step. Yeah, step step in step. It doesn't matter if your Diablo four character is level one hundred. Yeah, it doesn't like, fucking matter. You're not going to get. You're not a girl's not going to get. Her panty, her panties aren't going to drop because you're fucking. Yeah, you're good in World of Warcraft, right? Right. <laughs> like that's not yeah. going to happen. Be funny. Have a personality. Yeah. You know, be aware of what women like enjoy and, and like certain talks. Like their humor is different. Yeah, their humor is different. Uh, they're not going to think it's funny that you called your friend a word that you can't say anymore on the internet, right? Yeah. They're not going to think that's funny. No. So shut the fuck up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you, like, got, <laughs> and you you will have strong learning moments for all of those things, but yeah. you need a fucking woman to tell, call you out on it. Right. Like a proper feedback loop. Yep. Yeah. yeah. It's like what I said last week. It was, well, I don't know what episode it was anymore, but uh, it was what I said, you know, liberals, you need conservatives, conservatives, you need liberals. Men, you need women and women, you need men. Now, of course, I'm, of course there's homosexual relationships. I'm not saying that. I'm talking about heterosexual relationships. Men, you need women to keep you in check. And women, you need men to keep you in check. You grow up together. Yes. Because people are people. And they're, they're, there's juvenile people. Yeah. And you, you fucking... The only way to level up is through communication with another person. Yeah. And like you of an not, opposite, of yeah. the opposite... Like completely different mindset, which is the opposite sex, I, in my no, opinion. No, no, no. So I, I think you will not grow up like you and I would have the worst feedback loop, right? Yeah. Because we would just go on fucking chaos mode. Yeah, if we were, not, not to be funny, but if we were a gay couple, yeah. we'd be fucked. We'd be fucked. We'd be fucked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll be, there'll be zero discipline. <laughs> yeah, zero, dude. On social yeah. Yeah, social propriety to like sleep hygiene to any kind of hygiene. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We would have zero of it, right? Yeah. And you also care less if it's your bro, right? Exactly, yeah. Calling you out on something. But if it was a woman that you loved and you, fucked her and she fucks you <laughs> and you want to fuck her right yeah you'll change for that you will you will yeah. you'll change the way you, your mindset on things it's like you know it's like when i told about those two road rage incidents i was like babe i'm sorry you know like i, I should have been more mindful yeah you, you, you know? grow up because you, you yeah. got called out on it right i did yeah yeah and yeah. I, that's a proper callback yeah like or call out it I, is yeah i think it's you have to grow a certain layer of uh neurons on propriety and it's I because think- men have the death drive dude and women are like stop with the death drive stop trying to kill yourself yeah what is the <laughs> statistic yeah. well I, I think married men live longer right wait of course yeah yeah because they're telling us stop eating six burgers a week you know <laughs> don't do that stop being an alcoholic yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, I mean, I would smoke cigarettes and be an alcoholic if I if weren't from. My yeah, life. dude. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know about an alcoholic, but cigarettes for sure. Like that's yeah, that's. Uh, oh yeah, I would be easily, and I would be eating terrible food more than I already am. So it's it's. Uh, I would you never, just stop yeah. giving a fuck. No, absolutely. Yeah. Why would you? Yeah, I mean, life. Like, I'm, I'm Who not. The fuck cares? I'm not procreating. Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's nothing. There's nothing to take care of. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because it's not like your body. It doesn't feel like your body if you're a man. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. If you're a woman, you have to think about your biological age. You have to think about periods. Stuff, it's yeah. like this physical thing that you have. You're in a fucking meat thing that does shit on its own. Yeah. For a guy, you, you kind of lose touch in fact that you are a physical thing. Yeah, it's true. 
Yeah. That's a good point. Uh, yeah, because like, you know, I remember when I was in any moment in my life where I was feeling kind of down or I wasn't ready, you know, after a breakup or something like that, I just would play video games all day. No, I feel you. Right. And just like do whatever, eat ice cream, play video games, you know, and that's was, that was like, okay, well now I'm in like this mode where I don't give a shit. I'll just do this or something or I don't know. But yeah, I mean, don't, yeah, just make sure you latch on to, latch on to her, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You, no, you, for sure. You compromise for the unit, right? Yeah. yeah. But like single guys out there, like if you you don't have someone yet, latch on to the gym, latch on to outside. Lat, try to latch on to things that are not video games and drugs. <laughs> what drugs can be food, alcohol, nicotine, uh, actual drugs. Like l- latch on to something that's constructive because your death drive, your male death drive is going to make you just sit in your room and play video games and smoke pot all day. Don't yeah. do that. You need the social reps. Yeah. Yeah, because like that is, I would argue, going to pay way more dividends for your life. Yeah. Right? That, what are you going to start talking to girls at age 30? What are you going to do? Yeah, they're, they're not going to be impressed that you have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. And but, 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 you, you lead a raid in Warcraft. And I say that because I used to. So I'm not making fun of people who do. Right? They don't give a shit about that. I can totally make fun of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, if, since like 20, 21, 22, same, same person. Yeah. I, I, I I think it's important to start early, like developing those muscles, getting the proper feedback loop for your brain. Cause like you are not, you are always growing as a person. Yeah, that's true. And we started with, uh, the hell did we start with gorillas taking a gorillas shit. Taking a shit. We ended up with dating. Yeah. And then dude, if you don't latch on, dude, you're going to go back on those apps again. And the same women are there. With oh, I'm more, latched, bro. I'm latched more... like a, yeah, <laughs> so, dude, dude. So I was my, my, uh, I know someone, who uh, is going back to the dating game again. Mm-hmm. And he goes back on the apps and same women that he dated like five years ago. No way. And they got crow's feet. They're older. Damn. They have filters on. It's like, a, and he's like, fuck. I feel bad for him, man. How old is he? It's, well, 35. Like, okay. Yeah. He's still okay. Yeah. It's just like, holy shit. Like it's, Damn. it's rough out there for everyone like i really so i'll close with this i really think you should only date if you you've done some soul searching and some work on yourself um don't get out there if you're not sure you know um you know i went through i had a bad breakup in my past i went through therapy because of that i I tried to you know build myself up as a person and and then i decided when i was ready like don't just get out there because you're horny it's the worst thing you can do absolutely unless you're looking up for hookups then fine do whatever you want if you're doing like you know tinder or whatever and you're trying to bang fine I'm not yeah. saying, but if you're trying to look for a relationship, like, yeah. Yeah. Then, you know, one jowl at a time, you're going to get older and those apps, you need more yeah. filters on and they're yep. not, they're, you're going to run out of filters. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. You're, yeah. Not even AI can help you at some point. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have to be completely AI generated just to get a date. <laughs> Talk about show. catfishing. Holy shit. Yeah. It's like, come, come with an Apple Vision Pro and swap my face, please. <laughs> Remember Mr. Garrison had a facelift and he was David Hasselhoff. Remember that? Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's a wild show. I mean, he had tits at one point. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. All right, dude. It's a good one. Yep. See Talk to you, buddy.